feeling I know why because White Rock Ale House in Dallas they use beer in almost all their recipes brew their own beer as well thank you so much for being here glad to be here and you're making pancakes this I morning I am so we're, we're already fans we we love it we have our Bonnie Barge brown ale chocolate pancake now you see now I, I I'm a big fan of beer and pancakes but putting them together I'm just not so sure well so what I'm here I got a cup of flour mm -hmm. three tablespoons of cocoa powder okay uh, half a cup of sugar. That helps. And then we have a half a <laughs> teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Right. Okay. It's very important to mix these first. Right. Mix the dry ingredients yes. first. And I'll do that. Okay. You, yeah. you bet. And then next, we're going to add in a half a cup of buttermilk, two tablespoons of melted butter, mm -hmm. and a half cup of our bar Bonnie uh, mm. Bonnie Barge brown ale. Okay. okay. And we're going to go ahead and we'll do that. We don't want to over mix. What does okay. the beer do to the taste? It's actually a natural leavening agent. And okay. it will help make them fluffier. Fluffier. Hmm. And then we got our butter. The carbonation picks out though, doesn't it? Or, yeah. Or does it? The alcohol does for sure. Okay. That did come out, so we'll go with that one. There you go. Cool. Okay, say so don't over mix don't it. Don't over mix. You okay. want lumps, that'll help make them fluffier. Oh, okay. Oh. And we should see the fluff. I got some going yeah. here. I got that. We'll go ahead and give these oh, a little those flip. Look good. Is this one of those things when, and you're the guy who has to come up, Ben Zimmer, the, uh, the chef, you have, to, you have to come up with the recipes. I say, hey, make pancakes with beer, and then you've got all the beers to choose from. And yes. you got to figure out which one's actually going to work. And we went with this one because it has notes of coffee and chocolate. Right. So why not pair that with breakfast? Perfect. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. And do you really try to work beer into yes. most of the recipes? Yes. We have beer in our bacon jam that we put on our burger. Uh, salad dressings are made out of beer. Uh, really? Uh, yes. A oh, lot of beer fun. is incorporated in almost everything. I would think this would be one, and I can't wait to try it, but I, I, I would think this would be one of those recipes where people would say, I'm not sure, can I get a sampler first? Right. Well, we can make that happen real quick. All right. <laughs> there you go. That is beautiful. So where are you located exactly? We are uh, Gaston and Garland Road. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the White Rock area, right by White Rock Lake. Hop in the little area. Uh, we're Great open looking place. seven days a week. Uh, dinner starts at 3 till 10. Okay. And then brunch starts on the weekend at 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. Okay, and for the Perfect. aficionados, how many beers of your own do you make? And, and you have some other ones on the, on the uh, menu as well? We have four currently okay. with more on the way. We have a beer release party on June 9th. <laughs> beer release and party. And we will have a crawfish boil the same day. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. <laughs> perfect, yes. perfect. Okay, well, you can find this recipe and a, a link to White Rock Ale House on fox4news.com. Thank you so much for being in here, Ben. Thanks. All right, for... light that up. Tim's getting hungry. Uh, we don't want him to get grouchy. No. <laughs>